Breakthrough Machine Learning Artificial Intelligence Drives Nuclear Fusion Reactor In order to better understand how plasma behaves, nuclear fusion experts have created a machine learning model that can automatically detect and keep track of plasma blobs that form inside of a nuclear fusion reactor around the tokamak. In the simplest terms, a nuclear fusion works by fusing together atomic nuclei in order to release energy, which is the same mechanism that fuels our solar system's sun and the stars throughout the universe. Because of the numerous advantages that fusion energy creation could have, scientists have been attempting to harness the energy produced by fusion reactors for many years. Some of these advantages include the fact that fusion reactions are clean and don't generate a lot of radioactive waste or greenhouse gases. Also, the hydrogen isotopes that power them are plentiful, so they also emit absolutely enormous amounts of energy. However, fusion reactions require extremely high temperatures and pressures, which consumes a lot of electricity. Therefore, it hasn't been possible for scientists to make a nuclear fusion reactor create more energy than it requires to operate, causing fusion reactions to be challenging to maintain over time. Using a tokamak, which is a donut-shaped device that employs strong magnets to circulate superheated materials called plasma around in a circle, is the most popular method of achieving fusion. Fusion takes place because of the conditions that this plasma produces. Near its edges, plasma frequently develops turbulent regions known as blobs by scientists. Monitoring the formation and movement of these blobs is crucial because they determine how heat and particles from the plasma interact with the inside of the tokamak. As a result, this helps scientists understand how the tokamak should be built. To protect the reactor and to make sure that the plasma reaction remains hot and stable, the plasma should be kept away from the reactor walls. In areas where major plasma wall interaction needs to be minimized, plasma blobs can convey significant volumes of particles and heat away from the main plasma. Being able to more accurately measure this process with modern instruments and extrapolate the data to a reactor is a crucial matter. Humans are unable to keep track of each plasma blob separately due to the fact that thousands of them form every second, so until now, scientists have worked around this by using averages. Plasma physics researchers have now created a machine learning AI that examines video recordings of tokamak reactions to identify and investigate certain blobs. Comparatively speaking, this gives a much more thorough view compared to using averages. In some circumstances, the machine learning model could accurately recognize blobs more than 80% of the time. Recent advances in nuclear fusion research include the prediction of plasma disruption in tokamaks, plasma diagnosis using spectroscopy and tomography, and turbulence tracking, all of which employ machine learning and artificial intelligence. Brand new AI supercomputer has over 13.5 million processor cores. The recently unveiled Andromeda supercomputer has more than 13.5 million processor cores and is designed to perform artificial intelligence applications, built by chip firm Cerebra Systems Incorporated. When running machine learning artificial intelligence applications, Andromeda can deliver performance greater than one exaflop of computing power, meaning over a million trillion calculations executed every second. Due to its performance, Andromeda is a good candidate for training large language models, which are sophisticated neural networks capable of carrying out tasks like interpreting text and creating software code, like GPT-3 from OpenAI. Cerebra Systems is situated in California and is supported by more than $720 million of venture capital, with its primary item for sale being a processor dubbed the WC2, which is a neuromorphic chip made exclusively to run artificial intelligence applications. The Andromeda A supercomputer has 16 of the WSE2 neuromorphic chips made by Cerebras, with each chip having over 2.6 trillion transistors, or around 2.5 trillion more transistors than the majority of cutting-edge GPUs currently available, like the NVIDIA RTX 4090. The neuromorphic chip is marketed by the startup as the fastest AI processor in the world, using a wafer-scale architecture, as described by Cerebra Systems. Wafers, which are silicon disks, are used to make computer processors. A wafer is divided into numerous rectangular pieces during the chip-making process, with each piece then being transformed into a different processor. With its neuromorphic computing chip, Cerebra Systems has adopted a different strategy. Rather than dividing the wafer into numerous small processors, the startup makes it into a single large processor that has trillions of transistors. The WSE2 is offered by Cerebra Systems as a component of the CS2 data center appliance, along with networking hardware, 
cooling equipment, and other supporting hardware elements included to facilitate the chip's utilization. The 16 CS2 appliances that make up the supercomputer are connected together in a cluster, including a total of 18,176 processors from the AMD Ryzen series. Researchers will have access to greater computing power thanks to the combination of the Cerebra's Andron Meta AI supercomputer and a data pre-processing pipeline driven by AMD EPYC-powered servers. This will enable faster and more sophisticated artificial intelligence capabilities, with near-perfect linear scaling as a feature being supported by the supercomputer. Because of this, it is much more efficient in its operations in comparison to other types of data center infrastructure used to run artificial intelligence applications. Large language models and other sophisticated AI applications are frequently too complex to execute on a single processor. They must therefore be distributed among several devices, which are typically GPUs. To guarantee precise calculations, those GPUs must coordinate their efforts. The coordination of several processors is a challenging problem that requires hardware-intensive techniques. A data center requires greater computational power to manage its processors because it has so many to handle at once. As a result, maintaining chip synchronization consumes a considerable percentage of the computing power in large AI clusters. The Andromeda Supercomputer's 16 WSE2 chips can be coordinated using considerably less hardware resources than a traditional AI cluster that usually has several thousand GPUs. This is precisely why the Cerebra's made supercomputer provides near-perfect linear scaling. Nearly all of the system's processing power becomes available for AI applications when clients scale the supercomputer by clustering extra CS2 systems. The result is that a small amount of hardware resources needs to be set aside for chip coordination duties. Several early users have already had access to it thanks to the Cerebra systems. Scientists from the University of Cambridge, Argonne National Laboratory, and Jasper Incorporated have all used the supercomputer already with impressive results. Breakthrough Quantum Superposition sends photon both forward and backward in time. A seemingly counterintuitive aspect of the quantum world is that it's possible to put a photon, which is a particle of light, in a superposition of states moving both forward and backward in time, and has already been put to the test by two different research groups. Although it isn't time travel and won't allow you to communicate with the past, the demonstration of how time might function at the quantum level is extremely interesting to scientists. Time only moves forward for us, which shields us from all kinds of absurdities and paradoxes, including superposition. Though it doesn't appear to be as fundamental at the quantum level, it is thought to be related to the idea of entropy, which always grows in an isolated system like the cosmos. Instead, what seems to be fundamental is the so-called charge, parity, and time reversal symmetry. In a superposition of states, photons may exist in the present and past, according to a recent study. A quantum phenomenon known as superposition occurs when a particle is simultaneously in many states, but the quantum particle does not enter either of them until it's measured. In an experiment, a photon was placed on a superposition of processes as it passed through a crystal. Since photons have no charge, altering their parity causes them to move in three dimensions in a manner similar to that of a photon going back in time, which is known as a quantum time flip. This may enable some interesting applications in quantum computers, especially when it comes to logical operations, which are the crucial architecture of computer processes. This ability to utilize quantum time flips could enable increased performances and the switching of inputs and outputs.